And now I'm delighted to say that at last I see in the flesh this wonderful man we've been seeing for weeks and weeks on television <laughs> on Dancing on Ice, <laughs> Stefan Booth. Stefan, you're very welcome. Thank and you. congratulations yet again. I know you being been um, a competitive sort, you'll be disappointed only to have come second, but you did great. Do you know, um, actually, it's a funny feeling. This started off as a job and it turned into a passionate thing that really didn't feel like I was getting paid to do. And whether we had left in the first week or the last week, we'd have been, right. we were all in the same. And uh, how, long, how long did the show last? It was ten, ten weeks, I think. Ten weeks. Ten so weeks, but see, so three, three months, months before that too. Yeah, you had three or four months of high intensive work. Had you ever ice skated before? Well, not really. I mean, I'd, I'd gone up to, uh, when I was younger, I'd gone to Bracknell with, yeah, my, right. with, with my dad right. and uh, my brother, and they'd uh, succeeded in pushing me over a lot and uh, <laughs> trying to make me go fast before tripping me up, as good families do. But um, no, I'd, I'd never really even taken the time to... Um, I, I, I kind of stayed at the pre-evolutionary stage where you're bent over double just trying to escape for your life. <laughs> and so when I got onto the, uh, the ice, I put, I'm, not a, I'm a biker, so I put on my leathers yeah. <laughs> and my skates on and I was falling over. It didn't matter, but they had to come off at some point. And, and how it. were you approached to be a contestant? How did it work? It does sound a little bit cranky, but it's the old story. You know, they ring your agent and the, the agent rings you and says, are you interested in doing yeah. something like this? And I thought, hang on, reality TV career suicide I'm gonna have to be really careful and then as the show progressed and it developed it is it we, we found out that it was more of an entertainment based thing and Torval and Dean were on board and and oh, the, sure, the other sure. the other contestants were great people to work alongside with as well so for me it was fantastic you see the difference between dancing on ice which is why it got such fantastic audiences I think and the nonsense that is celebrity big brother and big yeah, brother it is nonsense is that your ones actually developed and because there was genuine skill in it there is no particular skill in having yourself emerged uh, immersed in a, in, a, in a big box full of rats I mean okay no. I have no idea what that's about no or in crawling along on, on your hands and knees to rule Alenska's lap pretending to be a pussycat I have <laughs> no idea what <laughs> I mean do you need qualifications for that but that and and even pop idol and the X Factor because there's an element yeah. of skill in it and also Precisely. you not only pitting yourself against the opposition as it were but against the very skill that you have to try and learn and i never thought that i'd be put in the category of celebrity being an actor but having been having found myself well you are situation. now i know it's, it's <laughs> hilarious isn't it but i think that that the um the age of celebrity is dying slightly people do want to be impressed by talent it's not a question of Ed TV, where people just tune in and, and it's voyeurism. People want to look at a skill, people performing a skill and doing it well. And that's why this show was so good for me because, you know, I'm a real focused guy. I like to I like to challenge myself in personal life as well and to be given a new skill, you know, and, and for everyone as well. We, we all just got our teeth into it and it was an all or nothing job and thank goodness everyone put their all into it. But um, was there ever a morning you woke up and thought to yourself, oh, I, I don't want to do this? Of course there were mornings like that. But my body was saying, no, more. <laughs> no, you can't do this. This is ridiculous. And my brain was saying, come on, get up, get out of bed. It's a, it's a rainy day, <laughs> which actually November and December is. But um, I, I was, it's, it's actually taught me that um, you can push your body so much harder than you initially think you can. We went way back and beyond where where uh, I thought that I'd I'd end up, and um, because of the progress that we made from the very um, start, you know, that's why we carried on. And working through injuries, for example, I've never done that. I've always done, always been keen on sports. What, what did you injure? Oh, you want? There's a catalogue of injuries. Well, a catalogue the injuries. Um, well, this week, <laughs> this week, uh, Henry, my uh, my shoulders don't feel too good. Um, having having my body's just relaxed a little bit, and I'm off the painkillers now. So it's all because I, I needed to come off the Voltrol, so I could see what exactly is going wrong. The tendonitis in my ankles, and my knees is is um, giving me a whole lot of hassle. But it's it's I've been icing it, and my shoulders. I, I popped out my sh my I've popped out my left shoulder really? where the collarbone goes in here. You, 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 I dislocated you your you collarbone. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, it's horrible. It shouldn't be there. Yeah. And my the tendon in my right shoulder because I was lifting Christina so much is is pulled. So it's um. I don't know. I think it's all part and parcel of the. Uh, How heavy show. was Christina? She was light as a feather. But you yes. know, without without the um, the balance, people you can lift someone who's 
it, it, people in the circus will tell you about this gymnastics too. You know, if the person that you're lifting is if balanced, the, yeah, if you don't get the well, balance look right, at, look at second row forwards in rugby. <laughs> well, they're, they're lifting their colleagues who are mm. six foot three and weigh eighteen stone. Yeah, and even if you're six foot three and weigh eighteen stone yourself, it's still difficult. So there's a spring, there's a certain. I, I was nearly going to say lightness, but you know what I mean. It's not light. It's it's yeah. If the balance is right, it's the edge. Definitely, yeah, sure, definitely. sure. And if you go, if you fall off that edge, especially you know when you're on on the terra firma, um, you can you can adjust your feet. But if you uh, if you start to if you've got an edge that you have to rely on, you have to make sure you're solid on it. That was the um, scary thing because Christina, a professional Canadian international champion skater, was trusting me with uh, with her life effectively. Well, she was right too because you did brilliantly.